Okay, so the first line is going to be the energies that you're coming out of January with, and then this will be February, and then towards the end of February, moving into March. There's strength. So you have the Nine of Cups, the Star in Reverse, and the Eight of Pentacles in Reverse. I'll also be pulling clarifying cards as well. So the Nine of Cups and the Star. So this is a wish card, and the Star is feeling like your wishes aren't coming true. And... With the Eight of Pentacles in reverse here, I feel like it has something to do with your work life and what you've been working on. And maybe it hasn't been panning out in exactly the way that you had hoped or planned or wanted, either emotionally or financially. And the effort that you've been putting into this particular endeavor, you're coming up against a decision as to whether or not you want to carry forward. Since this is a nine, it's not a completion in the current track that you've been on. Go ahead and clarify these. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Yeah, so it hasn't quite given you the satisfaction. I feel like you're moving into a new endeavor because with the Wheel of Fortune on, in reverse on the Nine of Cups, uh, you gave it your best shot, I, my guides are saying, and perhaps it's, it's time to move on to something that is feeling more resonant with who you came here to be. And this could have to do with some old or organizations that you've been a part of, Aries, that are no longer serving. You're no longer getting out of it what you originally had in being part of these community organizations or um, you know, out in, out in the public, out some, something that you're a member of. <clears throat> I feel like you're not getting the satisfaction out of the time that you've been spending there. And I feel, feel you pulling away and moving in a new direction. And I feel like that's going to feel good to you. And maybe there's, maybe somebody has invited you to a new club and you're like, okay, well, I'm not going to be paying for that membership anymore over there. I'm going to be switching my membership over here. Maybe it's a golf club. I don't know why that came up or a gym membership um, or a church organization or a religious organization that you're a part of Aries. So I'm going to jump right into the February energies. So you have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the Three of Swords upright, and the King of Pentacles. So I feel like this decision, some people may feel alienated or you're still splitting your time between like one foot in the door, one foot out of the door, and some people... I feel like, um, <clears throat> excuse me, an air, uh, earth sign male is going to have something to say about that. Like they want you to stick around and perhaps because you've been an integral part of this organization. And it could have to do with your professional life too, uh, with all the pentacles here. Sorry, I just hit the camera. And... I'm going to go ahead and clarify these. The Page of Swords in reverse. Maybe your exit from this job or profession or partnership or group or community club. 
um, felt very quick to the other party. And that's why they're having this reaction of a little bit of shock and heartbreak and forlornness. Yeah, with the Ace of Swords on the, on the Three of Swords. I don't, I feel like this heartbreak isn't necessarily yours, but you're having to deal with the fallout of pulling away from this group of people <clears throat> in February and the way that you've been going about it. I want to see what's on the King of Pentacles. Um, maybe this person is trying to bribe you in your job or your profession or your career with more money to stick around. And I feel like you're going to be considering it because it might be a really good offer here with Ace of Pentacles too. And finally what you were looking for, but it, it's like almost at the 11th hour and a little bit too late because again, I am sensing that your foot and your, your mental cat, um, facility and capabilities that you've been so daydreaming about moving on from the situation for so long that with the Page of Swords in reverse, you've made, it's almost like you've already made up your mind and you're like, oh, well, crap, now the, these people are finally coming around to offer me <clears throat> the situation that I've wanted the whole time and it's making you pause um, and reconsider your decision. So I'm going to flip over the energies coming out of February. Lots of people. So King of Wands. I feel like this is you, Aries, in reverse, which is a fire sign. And you are one of the first, the first fire sign, the Queen of Cups. So a female water sign and also a male water sign in the mix there's a lot of people and i feel like these people that you're dealing with towards the end of the month have been in your life for quite some time because they're the queen and the king and they're not the pages or the knights um or they're they're people that have been part of this organization that you've been involved in and again it could be professionally as well not just a club sense or um, something for recreation even, or extraneous activities, like extracurricular activities outside of work too. However it's resonating for you, something's going to jump out, Aries, I feel. I'm going to go ahead and clarify these. Yeah, the Five of Cups, the Justice. Okay, interesting. So with this new offer coming in in February for you, that's making you reconsider what you had felt like you already made your decision on. Um, I don't necessarily think that you're going to take it and there's going to be a little bit of you know, gulp loss um, in moving out of that situation for you and dealing with this, this water sign, perhaps this is your partner, Aries. She might be pissed off that you're not taking this opportunity and you're, you're going to have to deal with the fallout of those those emotions from her and those conversations and listening to her perspective and understanding where she's coming from, but also standing firm in what you know is right for you and the new horizons that you were 
you were already on track to pursue. And I feel at the end of it that there's, I'm not necessarily picking up that this is an actual person, but you coming into, well, a person in the sense of somebody other than you, you coming into a celebration of sorts that these tipped over cups here, you're going to be letting them go, um, moving into March and getting over the grief of letting go of the situation and moving on. And I feel like it's going to propel you in a new direction and meeting new people and it's going to feel exciting. And at the end of the day, the right decision for you, Aries. However, that is applying in whatever area of your life it's resonating for you, Aries. It's going to be different for everybody because this is a general reading. So, what parts of that made sense? I'm going to pull an Archangel Michael card for you from the Dorian Bertree deck and see what Archangel Michael has to say for a little bit more guidance and advice for the month of February. Two kind of wanted to come out. I'm going to flip over two. Okay. Write about your thoughts and feelings. And use your imagination and you'll see the answer. I'm going to read both of the prayers. Thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so I clearly express myself and glean insight, blessing, and healing. So approaching these partnerships and relationships that you're feeling like it's time to move on from, I feel like the prayer is pointing to helping you tap into your wisdom, Aries, and speaking and using your throat chakra and your words from a higher place and not being so cutting or sharp with your words. And I feel like that's going to lessen the blow of the news when you do decide to share it with these people. Um, that obviously wants you to stick around, but you have other ideas. In this prayer, use your imagination and you'll see the answer. Dear God, thank you for granting me the wisdom and creativity to see your miracles in new and unexpected ways. I gratefully and gracefully accept and appreciate your help in this situation. So you can fill in the blank. So again, the wisdom and creativity, they're both pointing to the wisdom and creativity that's going to make this transition for you be a lot more graceful and, and you hear Aries towards the end of the month of February moving into March so that you can carry forward sort of an emotional pride that you handled the situation with tact is the word that's coming up. Um, when you communicate a decisive decision to other people who obviously care about you and, and like your energy and, and love having you around to the point that they're offering you this new opportunity with the organization um, but it's still not quite resonating for you. Um, appreciate them. I think coming from a place of gratitude and appreciation is going to help you navigate through these energies of February and closing out these partnerships in a way that ultimately all of the parties can grow from and walk away from with good feelings at the end of the day. <laughs>